What are we doing today? Uh, low fade with a two. Okay. Then, so uh, okay. Cool. Trim the, trim the top, thin it up. Okay, so thin the top out a little bit like what we've been doing. You're still pushing this and styling this back over here, right? Yep. Okay, and then you want the two kind of brought up. And then are we going to still square the, square the sideburns? Yep. And are we going to keep the sideburns at the same length? Yeah. Okay, and then square the back too? Yep. And I think that would look a lot better. Okay. It's, just, it's just a little tweak. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jordan Perez, the Tampa Bay Barber. And we're going to get straight into this haircut tutorial. So right now we got my guy, Anthony, in the chair. And Anthony's going to have like pretty short. It's going to be kind of like a pushback, comb over type of vibe. He's going to have a natural part. We're going to do the two. You heard, bring it up. And, uh, we're, and what we're going to do differently that I haven't done with him before is we're actually going to taper out the sideburns in the back area. And the reason why I strictly for grading is right now we're going to get into cutting the top first. Right now we're doing block graduation on the side just to establish that nice, a really nice side part that he wants for this haircut. And uh, it doesn't have to be a hard part. It could be like a soft part as well. And that's what we're doing right now. Right now we're just cutting the sides so that the sides can blend seamlessly um, into that kind of side area of the hair. We're kind of connecting the top into the sides through this area right here, just doing this scissor technique, you know, that I really love to do on the majority of my scissor cuts. It just keeps me, you know, super, super, super consistent. Then right here, we're just gonna go straight into cutting the top. I'm showing you the length, I'm showing you that guide, how that guide from doing that block, block graduation on the side, how it just carries over so seamlessly. And it tells me exactly the length that I have to cut the hair to on top. like. Whenever you're trying to give out these high quality haircuts, you know, a system, you need a system and you need a system that you can repeat, you know, so you can focus your energy on what you really need to focus on. And that is detailing. And it's very important that you see that I'm bringing up my finger squared and you're going to see how what that does for the haircut is that it's going to give a really nice square shape to the whole haircut. Now here we're just kind of re-wetting the hair as you might need to to make sure you know, the hair is well saturated while you're cutting it. Now, as I'm cutting the top, I'm making sure everything's even. I might do a little bit of cross-checking as well, but... Oh, and then you'll see right here, I'm actually connecting um, the, the kind of flow area a little bit into that side. You'll kind of see that I have a guide on one side of my fingers and a guide from the other side. And I'm literally just connecting it, bringing my hands out, you know, vertically, if that makes sense, just to have a really nice flow and sweep. You know, with this haircut, um, the texture matters a lot, the flow matter matters a lot, and the fact that you don't want any hair sticking up, you know, that matters a lot as well. You know, I feel like there's a lot of characteristics of haircuts that can really set it apart. And do you see that flow, how it's coming together? Yeah, right now we're just working on that back section, and man, I'm super excited for this haircut, man. These haircuts, I have so much fun on because it's not about the fade, it's not about the blend, it's just about, you know, the sheer techniques and the flow and making sure everything sits right. And another thing that he told me, and I'll tell you real quick as I'm just kind of cross-checking the, the, the top cut, is that this area right here was actually bothering him. As it got longer, as it started to curl, as it started to you know kind of grow out, it will start to curl. So I'm making sure I take that area a little bit shorter. Right here, I'm actually doing this technique. I've never seen anybody do it, do it, but it helps to kind of thin out the hair. Sometimes when your hair is way too thick, it could be very hard to style. It could be, um, especially, you know, as it goes out. So right here, you can just kind of thin out the hair a little bit. Um, and you're going to see how the style just comes together seamlessly. You know, right now we've cut the top, we blended it into the sides. Our whole top section and side section of the blend is all the way done. Now we're just going to dry. I'm not really trying to style here right now. I'm just trying to get it into place so that I can continue the rest of the haircut. You know, so this, um, this drying, it really doesn't matter as much. I'm just kind of seeing how the hair is going to react. But do you see that square kind of how it looks very flat and consistent? On, on the top, I wouldn't say flat, let's just say it's consistently cut, you know, through the top, through the back. It looks very consistently cut, and that matters a lot because head shape matters a lot as well. So even though his head shape is round, like all of our head shapes are, it looks very consistent and it's very complementary to his actual, you know, like skull, to his bone structure. Now, right, right now we're taking the three, we're gonna start with the three just to connect it, but you see how easy it is for me to connect that three into the top of the hair and how it's literally taking me like no effort at all and how that blend is going to be 
literally perfect. Now, even on this kind of side part section, I did go and part up the hair. You can see how just nicely all the hair is sitting. And the reason why it's sitting so nice is because we cut the hair one where it wanted to lay. Something that I noticed uh, a lot when people are coming in and it's their first time is that the hair isn't being cut where it's supposed to lay. Knowing what hair is meant to be on the sides and knowing what hair is meant to be on the top, like that's gonna dictate so much of a haircut and that's so important. That's why it's so important as barbers that we educate ourselves and as clients that you make sure that your barber is educating him or herself and they know what's going on, they know what's happening. Right now, he actually wanted a two on the sides. So right now, we're actually doing that two. We're gonna bring it up into the three. And we're just making sure everything's very consistent and very level. And you could just see how quick I can make this haircut sit just so nicely, so effortlessly, so effortlessly. Like, I'm just so excited for this haircut to come together. And right here, you can see that the gradients, the shade, even though I passed the number two on both of those areas, the shade is different. And that's kind of like what I was telling him in the beginning consultation, that if we can taper out these areas, the gradients and the shade of the hair is just going to be like amazing. I'm going to go a little bit over the ear and I'm going to go mainly in this kind of sideburn area. And you're going to see how look, how it's starting to look like the same kind of uh, like, a, like the same shade or the same guard. When you're doing a phase like this with the number one or the number two, like the most important thing is the gradient, not the length of the hair. For me personally, like as a barber, if the length of, if, if there's a two on the side and there's a two on the sideburn, but it doesn't look like there's a two on both of them, I need to make it look like that way. So I gotta be able to kind of know how to play with my other guards and other lengths so that when the client looks in the mirror, he knows, he thinks it's the same length. Does that make sense? The shade, the shade of the hair matters a lot. And now we're just going to clean up the sideburn area. This is like an amazing part of the haircut because you're putting the picture into a frame. We're putting a level of crispiness. Now this haircut overall is very soft and it's very natural, but when you're able to kind of line things up and just keep it natural, but very clean, you're going to, you're going to be able to take this haircut to a whole different level because it's going to have a crispness, a crispiness, you know, to the haircut. We all like that soft, you know, moist, tender, juicy chicken, but that crispy crunch, you know, it just was gonna differentiate it from any other chicken out there. So that's exactly how I feel about, you know, these lineups is that I wanna keep it natural. I don't wanna, you know, excessively put, push anybody back, but I do wanna professionally tailor this lineup to, you know, to my client. Every client is gonna have a different lineup and it's gonna be tailored to them specifically. You know, for him, he has a lot of hair to play with. I don't have to really do much, too, too much finessing. It's really about just cutting the hair off in the right areas. And honestly, the better I get at cutting hair, I notice that sometimes you don't gotta take off the, the most hair. It's more about taking off the hair in the right areas, you know? And a headline barbershop, this is how we do it. We do it different, you know? Um, I'm Jordan, I'm out of Tampa Bay, and, um, and you know, I love what I do and I'm passionate. I'm just making these videos to help my clients get more out of their haircut experience, possibly give, you know, some haircut inspiration. And you know, if some barbers wanna watch, maybe they can pick up a thing or two, you know, and put it to, to their arsenal. But I really wanna just show you guys, you know, what type of haircuts that you guys could be asking for your barber or, to, you know, haircuts that you could deliver to your clients. That's a technique I picked up from Dave, where you kind of hold the trimmer up in front of somebody's face and you match the two, uh, two, two points of the C cup so that you can put a symmetrical C cup, you know, symmetry, shape, gradients. Like this is really an art, guys. Like y'all gotta realize haircutting is really an art and you have to be able to know what you're doing so that you can push the needle for your clients and take them to that next level, to that next step. Right now, you know, I did one top, one thing to the other, one thing to the back. And we're just bringing everything, you know, together all on, on this haircut. You know, we're making everything super symmetrical. We're making everything fit his head super, super nicely, you know. And a Headlines Barbershop Brandon, we're doing it different. You know, it's a barbershop and Brandon here. We got me and we got, you know, some other great barbers putting out some high quality haircuts in the Brandon in the Tampa Bay area. Don't be scared to check us out. Right now I'm redoing this part and you can see how naturally that's, that part is sitting. How I'm literally not even having to force the hair to go anywhere it doesn't want to go. 
Right now, I'm just using a little bit of my blending shears. I'll use some scissor or comb, right? And that's what we're doing. We're trying to just make this haircut have a very soft, you know, natural kind of flow finish. I don't want this to look super choppy, but you can see right now, like I'm doing the thinning shears, but it's really not even super, super necessary. And that's really, you know, when you can when you know what to detail and how to detail that's really where i feel like the cut just goes to a whole different level you can see right here yeah keeping that sheer of a comb super consistent super clean with it now i'm actually gonna go even though this is a soft haircut you know i'm trying to add you know a little bit of spice a little bit of flair to this so i'm gonna put the razor around the edges just to add a little bit of pop a little bit of pop a little bit of extra crisp you know we're gonna do that on both sides and you just man i just keep on looking at how nice that top is looking and it's not even styled yet how naturally how naturally it's sitting how nothing is sticking out crazy everything is just sitting in its proper place like that is just awesome that is so awesome now, something that is super, super important when you're trying to give, you know, an awesome service to your clients, when you're trying to just be in your bag and just do di do different and um, really stand out to your clients, you know, we're trying to give high quality service out here in Brandon, Tampa Bay. So, you know, I'm going to ask my client, how are you feeling about your haircut before putting in product, you know? He needs to sign off. He needs to co-sign on this joker. Like he needs to tell me that he likes it without product and he sit nights without product so that with product, we already know it's gonna look better. You know what I mean? Now, having the haircut look nice without product is super, super, super important. Cleaning up these ear hairs is super, super, super important. You know, we're talking about detail. That's what we're talking about. So I'm gonna actually ask him how he likes it without any product. And then I'll go and throw some product in there. But the haircut needs to sit nice without any extra product product is there to enhance the haircut not to make the haircut uh, you want to kind of filter it before i throw a product in it do you want to kind of filter your hair and ch check it out a little bit look good yeah all right bet we're gonna throw boom you can see right there he signed off he said it looks good without product and that's super important but right here right here we're gonna style the hair the hair is a little bit damp i'm gonna break this product down and honestly this pomade is one of my favorite pomades it doesn't i don't it, it's not super hard to kind of most it into your hands and to get into the hair you know it's something i love about it but phase one is really just getting the product into the hair the hair is a little bit damp it's gonna help the product mix a little bit and I'm just trying to, you know, fully kind of saturate that hair follicle with the product. I'm not trying to, you know, just put it on the top. It needs to get every single where to get that really nice style, that really nice hold. Now I can go and I can kind of blow dry it into place. I can add a little bit of lift and volume where I need it. But honestly, you know, this cut is just sitting so, so awesome. It's sitting so nice and so smooth and just the foundation of a great style is not a great product. The foundation of a great style is a great cut. If the hair is, is cut right and it's sitting where it needs to get cut, the style is going to come out easy. Look how easy, look how easy this is. Like anybody can do this. You can do this with your hands, you know? Like I'm not having to pull out no crazy techniques. I'm not having to put in no crazy volume. I'm just having to kind of work with the hair and just push it where I want it to go. But you know, the hair is working with me because it was cut right, you know, it's sitting down. And that's just really the foundation. But look at this cut, man. It's coming out so awesome. I'm glad we were able to do this. Let's see what my client thinks. How are we looking? Looks good. Has a nice flow in there. You can, see, you can see this is a little bit tighter just so it can last you a little bit longer when you go into those weeks. And then it looks good though. And I, what I kind of noticed is that in your sideburn area, it was a little bit thicker, the hair. So when you kind of taper it out, you can kind of see how that hair matches this hair. Versus when I kind of passed the two, I saw the hair was a little dark. Bam, look at that, man. Look at the gradients, how the sideburn matches the rest of the head. Look at the flow, man. Look at the cut. Look at the balance. Look at the look at the texture. Like, it, this is just, this is so crazy. This is such a nice haircut. Like, I'm so glad it came together, guys. Don't forget to check us out. Headlines Barbershop, Brandon in Brandon, Florida. Jordy and the Tampa Bay Barber. I'm trying to make these videos just super awesome for you guys. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you on the next video.